the Millennium Highway and West Coast Reconstruction Project dovetails with Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre's agenda to enhance St. Lucia's public infrastructure and road networks. The Prime Minister was recently on the ground with Senior Minister responsible for infrastructure, Honorable Stevenson King, and officials from the Caribbean Development Bank, the British High Commission, and C.O. Williams Construction Limited to receive an update on the status of the project. So when I come back in, six weeks I would hope to, for you to see 1.6 kilometers, more than 25% of the job at Falcon. I would hope to see, I would hope to see more than that. C.O. Williams Construction Limited is the contractor for the Millennium Highway reconstruction phase of the project, which consists of approximately 11.1 kilometers of road and associated drainage works and the construction of a new roundabout. Delays have extended completion timelines and shortened the patience of the motoring public, a concern not lost on the senior minister. In terms of a likelihood of completion, they have set a timeline early um, 2024, which I have not accepted. I've indicated that they, they can do better than that. I have set my own timeline, uh, and, and, and I believe it is to ensure that there is an understanding that we are expecting a more efficient process for delivery. And so I have indicated that October we cannot go beyond October with this project. Um, the contractor does not believe that it is possible to deliver in October. He believes it can be delivered in the first quarter of 2024. I am continuing to mount the pressure that we need to go into the Christmas with that road development. The United Kingdom government under the UK Caribbean Infrastructure Fund made available nearly EC $100 million in grant funding which is administered by the Caribbean Development Bank for the project. In addition to EC $21.6 million in loan funding from the CDB, the government of St. Lucia has invested more than $24 million in the project. In 2020, the government received funding approval from the CDB and construction ensued in 2021. The Ministry of Infrastructure is the executing agency for the Millennium Highway and West Coast Road Reconstruction Project. CDB Vice President of Operations, Mr. Isaac Solomon, expressed confidence in the interventions implemented by the contractor to advance the project to meet its revised timelines. There is some progress, some visible progress. I think coming off the heels of a meeting we had with all parties, um, on the margins of our annual meeting here in June. So there has been some visible progress and we are very encouraged by that. Um, we are aware that there are still issues, but we do have commitments from all parties on some key deliverables that we are expecting in the next six weeks, weather permitting, and we are hoping that that will give us a better barometer to determine whether this project will finish within the revised timeline. The contractor has applied various alleviation measures to improve the commute along the Millennium Highway as construction progresses. Over the last eight months, what we have seen as C.O. Williams uh, um, have done is to bring a new project manager on, on, on the job. Uh, we have seen some improvement. We have said over and over again, we're not happy, we're not satisfied. We believe a lot more can be done, but we have seen some progress taking place. We have seen some changes uh, made in the whole op uh, management and uh, workforce, etc., etc. So in terms of the operational side, we have seen some attempts to make good on the weakness of the organization. Approximately 82,000 residents will benefit from shorter travel times between the capital city and westerly communities along the south coast of the island. Climate adaptive construction methods will increase resilience against hurricanes and reduce the risk of flooding and landslides along the project route. 
Office of the Prime Minister.